Welcome to class, everyone. Be as vegan as possible. You can do it. Be as vegan as possible. Start today. Be as vegan as possible. Start today. Be as vegan as possible. Start today. You can do it. Hip, hip, hooray. Guess where we're going? A vegan restaurant. Ta-da! Hello, one, two, three. We're here in Montreal, and we're going to go and check out the menu. Oh, check out this menu. You got brunch every day. Avocado toast, almond and banana French toast. Oh yeah, they got every kind of smoothie and smoothie bowl there. Oh, I love this. Yes, vegan food, Caesar salad, spicy wraps. This is great. And comfort foods, they got shiitake tau, they got kali mac and cheese. Oh my God, this is so great. Oh, I love their red Thai curry. And look, they're hiring. So if anybody wants a job and you have some experience, come and work at a vegan restaurant. And they have la 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 lasagna here. Yeah. Everything honestly tastes really good. So the first thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go inside and I'm going to wash my hands and drink a little bit of water. I love these green steps. Nice. Got a really nice porch here. And, oh yeah, they have one of these uh, menu things. You click on this and you get to see the menus so that they don't have to handle so many objects like menus um, during COVID. So this is the food we ended up getting. We got some lasagna here. And um, it's not that big of a piece, but it's very reasonable in the sense that you're not gonna overstuff yourself. Got a Caesar salad here, with some greens on there and some different kind of spices. I'm not quite sure what they are. Now remember the definition of veganism in case you've forgotten. Remember that veganism is actually not about the food, but it's about the animals. And um, it goes like this. Veganism is a philosophy and way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. And by extension, promotes the development and use of animal-free alternatives like all of the ingredients that you're gonna see here for the benefit of animals, humans, and the environment. All right, so I have here some uh, falafels and this uh, Buddha type bowl. And kale again, these are just so important, these greens. When you become vegan, you got to do it right. Don't be just eating chips and drinking Coke and then say, oh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't stay vegan. You got to actually eat things that are nutritious and good for you. There's a little piece of tempeh in there too. There's a little bit of avocado. This is a shiitake burger. It actually tastes like real meat. In fact, some people come and they just can't even believe that it's not meat but it is a type of mushroom that is cut up in a certain way and cooked in a certain way, and it tastes really meaty. It's very filling. This particular one um, is so kind of gooey, but yummy. It's heavy as heck. You got some great kind of veggies in there, some uh, sauerkraut type thing, or what is that? I don't know what that is actually. It's, a, it's a, some sort of cabbage, yeah, like um, red cabbage. That was what it was. And um, yeah, just another green salad is great. And these potatoes are so delicious, these little baby potatoes that they uh, toasted up with all kinds of seasoning on there. Remember that all the seasonings are vegan. And so any type of meat that you have, the only reason that it tastes good is because it has vegan food on it. We haven't been to restaurants in so long. We're just starting to go out again. This is, I think, our second time for going to a restaurant in about, I don't know, well over a year. And just you can dip it in these sauces or you can pour the sauce all over the place.
right now, I'd actually probably be licking these plates, to be honest with you. That's how good vegan food is. It's the position of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics that appropriately planned vegan diets are healthful, nutritionally adequate, and may provide health benefits in the prevention and treatment of certain diseases. These diets are appropriate for all stages of life all stages of life that includes pregnancy lactation infancy childhood adolescence and older adulthood and even for athletes plant-based diets are more environmentally sustainable than diets rich in animal products because they use fewer natural resources and they're associated with much less environmental damage all right so let's get some fruit now my shirt says vegan because paying for the rape kidnapping Sadness and murder no longer tasted good. That's why I'm vegan. I'm gonna try and see if I can find some fruit here that I can use later on for smoothies or just eat out of the package. Yeah, perfect. Try to buy fruits locally if you can so it's better for the environment. There's not as much transportation. And oh yeah, strawberries are great. By the way, did you know you can eat the green part? You can just throw the whole thing into a smoothie. No need to take those off. Oh no. Run, run, run from humans. They're trying to stab you. They're trying to murder you. To call you bacon and burn you in a frying pan. I found it, vegan ice cream. This is gonna really hit the spot right now. So what you're looking for on the label is something that says dairy free. That means there is no violence inside the product. The dairy industry is horrible. They rip mothers and babies apart. The baby boy cows are taken away from their mothers and they are turned into veal and the mothers are put back into this cycle of violence where they're treated like machines. It's terrible. We must stop hurting animals and treating them like objects. Look how easy it is to just buy this. Wonderful, refreshing, and honestly, it tastes just as good as or even better than any other ice cream. I absolutely love these. Check the label. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's 